Okay, so uh, Roman number 16, uh, as I've been saying, you only need uh, these two formulas, right? Here, sec A and cosec A. And uh, sine square A plus cos square A. If there is theta, same thing. This is always equal to one. We have been using this since the beginning. Very easy formula. Remember that one also. So look, uh, left hand side is very big. Right hand side is a little short. So we will try to obtain the right hand side from the left hand side. So let's start from the right hand, uh, left hand side then. Let's see, left hand side is given like this, sine A. Let me just copy the left hand side first. <clears throat> now, uh, what we have to do here is uh, we will change this say cosec, say cosec using this formula. We want only sine and cos on our left hand side on our expression. We want only sine and cos so that it will be easier for us to uh, continue solving. So see sine A, it will remain the same, no change there. Sec A, we will put it as one by cos A. Or sec A, we will put it as one by sine A. Cos A, it will remain the same. Do the same here, we will have one by cos A again. And the only difference is there is a minus sign in between. No change there. This is changed into this. This is changed into this. Same thing here. Now we will combine these two terms together, these two terms together, the sine A and cos A. Let them be in their uh, same spot. Let's not change them. We're going to change what is inside the bracket. All right. So multiply the denominator first, cos A and sine A. So we will have sine A. I'm putting sine A first and cos A. And cross multiply, one and sine A is what? It is sine A plus cos A and sine, uh, cos A and one, how much is it? It is cos A minus cos A. We will do the same here. We will multiply the denominator first. And then numerator, you do cross multiplication, one and sine A, cos A and one. So one and sine A will be sine A and the other one will be cos A. Remember there is a minus sign in between. So we will put a minus sign, bracket close. What to do next then? <clears throat> This sine A is uh, numerator. This cos A is numerator. You multiply numerator and numerator. Numerator and numerator. What is above multiply with what is above. So sine A and sine A. Sine A and cos A. Cos A and sine A. Cos A and cos A. So what are we getting? Let's see. This sine A, it will enter inside the bracket. And it will multiply using the distributive property. Right. So we will have sine square A plus sine A cos A. Denominator, it will remain the same, minus. You do the same thing here, cos A and sine A is multiplied, cos A and cos A is multiplied. If you maintain the bracket outside, then there will be no multiplication of sine. You multiply cos A and sine A, I'm putting the sine A first. We will have sine A cos A. Minus cos A and cos A is cos square A divided by sine A cos A. You might think that there is a minus sign here. If I multiply minus and minus, this is supposed to be plus. No. Since we are not opening the bracket, sign multiplication is not going to happen. Sign multiplication is going to happen when you open the bracket. If I open this bracket right here, then this will turn into the plus sign. Get it? So if I maintain the bracket, then negative sign will remain. Look, the denominators are the same. That means I can combine these two terms. I can keep the denominator common and then put the two numerators together, right? So let's put the two numerators together, sine square A plus sine A cos A. I'm opening the bracket now. There is plus sign here. So opening the bracket doesn't change any signs. But if I open this bracket, since there is a minus sign outside, you have to multiply the sign. So minus sine A cos A plus cos square A divided by sine A cos A. Okay, look, these two are similar, isn't it? So one is plus, one is minus. What does that mean? That means I can cancel them. What about the remaining portion? Sine square A and cos square A. I just told you all before the start of the question, sine square A plus cos square A is how much? One. That means these two remaining term, it will give us how much value? It will give us one. So we will have 
one here divided by sine a cos a. After this, I can separate them one by sine a into one by cos. One by sine a is how much? One by sine a is sec a. Sorry, I have cosec missing here. This is supposed to be cosec. I think I erased it. So one by sine a will be replaced with cosec a, one by cos a will be replaced with sec a. So this one by sine a replace it, we will have cosec a into sec a. So this is done. <clears throat> we have got sec a, cosec a on the right hand side. This is the same thing. You can put sec a first, cosec a after. There is commutativity in multiplication. A into B, this is same as B into A, right? So this is exactly equal to the right hand side. So you say here on the corner is equal to right hand side and screw. Okay, copy this. The formulas that we have used is one more formula I haven't written. Okay, copy this. This is just algebra, actually. Instead of the letters A and B, this being replaced by sine and cos. That's it. And you need the three simple formulas. Okay, moving on. I'm erasing this. All right. So, Roma number 13. Look it up. We have got 1 plus cos theta plus sine theta by 1 plus cos theta minus sine theta. This you have to obtain 1 plus sine theta divided by cos theta. Okay, in order to uh, prove this, first of all, you need to remember the concept of uh, rationalization. So rationalization, uh, we had something like this, 1 by A plus B. If we have like this, then you have to multiply by A minus B, A minus B in the numerator and denominator. One concept you need to remember is this. Another formula that you need to remember is what is the formula of A plus B plus C also? This is what? This is A square plus B square plus C square plus twice AB plus twice BC plus twice CA. <clears throat> and the obvious one we have got, uh, if we have got A plus B whole bracket, A minus B, what, are the, what is the uh, expression that we obtain? We obtain A square minus B square. So first of all, rationalization, then this formula right here, then this formula right here. You need to remember all three. You need to have the concept of all three. So you start from the left-hand side and let's try to obtain the right-hand side, okay? So let's try left-hand side. We have got one plus cos theta plus sine theta divided by one plus cos theta minus sine theta. So remember rationalization, how to do rationalization here. In rationalization, what I'm writing here has just two terms in the denominator. There is one, here is another. But here we have got one, two, three. The trick is we will combine these two. We will combine these two. This one will be taken as uh, a loan, the loan term. These two will be taken together. This sine theta, it will be taken as the sole term, single term. So this we will treat it as A, this we will treat it as B. What's the sign in between? There is a minus sign, right? So there is a minus sign, that means I have to multiply by A plus B in the numerator, A plus B in the denominator. So you multiply this, this is taken as A, this is taken as B, that means I have to multiply by one plus cos theta. If there is a minus in the denominator, you multiply with plus in the numerator. Same thing in the denominator also, right? Okay, this is rationalization. Let me write down one plus cos theta. I have to multiply by one plus cos theta plus sine theta by one plus cos theta plus sine theta. <clears throat> These two terms appear, this numerator and denominator appear because they are the, uh, it's for the sake of rationalization, isn't it? Now, these two are exactly the same. Numerators are exactly the same. If you multiply two terms that are exactly the same, you have to keep them as a square. One plus cos theta 
plus sine theta whole square. What about the denominator part? Look, a minus b. This is a minus, this is b. What about here? This is a, this is plus, this is b. a plus b and a minus b, we have got it. a minus b, a plus b, what's the formula? It is focus here. a plus b, a minus b is a square minus b square, right? But what is a? a is this part right here, 1 plus cos theta, 1 plus cos theta, this is a. What is B? This is sine sin theta and sine theta. This is B. Okay, then we will write it in the form of A square minus B square. Instead of A, we will write 1 plus cos theta whole square. Minus instead of B, we will write sine square theta. After this, time to expand the numerator and time to expand the bracketed portions actually. We will keep the sine square theta as it is. You have to expand the numerator. For that, you have to use this formula, the formula number two that I'm writing on the side. So A square, B square, C square. Instead of A, we will have one. Instead of B, we will have cos theta. Instead of C, we will have sine theta. Now you focus on the numerator part because numerator is going to be a little long. There are how many terms? One, two, three, four, five, six. A square plus B square plus C square. Write them down first. A square, B square, C square. Okay, this first three part is done. Come twice AB, we will have twice A is 1, B is cos theta. Plus twice BC, twice B is cos theta, C is sine theta. I'm continuing below, all right. And twice CA, it will be how much? Twice C is sine theta and A is 1 divided by. And you expand this uh, portion also, a plus b whole square, we will have a square plus b square plus twice a b. Get it? This part is expanded as a square plus b square plus twice a b minus, instead of the sine square theta, we will keep the sine square theta exactly the same. Okay, there is no more space left. Uh, you copy this term, uh, copy up to here, we will have uh, three, four more steps. Okay, copy this quickly. You have to use the formula on the side. I have to erase everything off because this one, it will take a little bit more space. Let me remove the formulas. These are no longer going to be needed. All right. <clears throat> okay, let's combine together the square first and then we will keep the remaining. One square, we will just keep it as one. Cos square theta, we will keep it same unchanged. Sine square theta. 2 cos theta, 2 cos theta sine theta plus 2 sine theta. Okay, I'm just multiplying them. 1 square is 1. This remains the same. This remains the same. These have been multiplied. 2 and 1 is 2 cos theta. And this is 2 cos theta sine theta. And these 2 sine theta and 1, they are multiplied. Denominator also, I'm going to rearrange them a little bit. 1 square, 1 cos square theta, keep it. 2, 1, cos theta. 2, 1, and cos theta. So we will have 2 cos theta right there minus sine square theta. Okay, you know the basic, the most basic of the formula, sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. Here it is. We will keep them as 1. So 1 plus, I'm underlining the portion. This, we will write it as how much? This will be written as 1. Keep the remaining. Okay, little rearrangement. Look, sine square theta plus cos square theta. This is one. If I take the sine square theta to the other side, cos square theta will be one minus sine square theta. Let me actually write it for you to copy. Okay, I want cos square theta in the denominator. Only cos square theta. There is a extra sine square theta, right? So if I combine this one and this minus sine square theta, I obtain this. That means one minus sine square theta, I can replace with what? Cos square theta. But you need a rearrangement first. So I'm writing one first, sine square theta next, cos square theta next, plus two cos theta. Look, the thing is, I'm writing this and this first here. And this cos square theta is here. This two cos theta is here. No much, not much change in this step except this has been changed into one and we are rearranging one and minus sine square theta. So one plus one is two. Look, this one plus one is two. Two and here we have two. 
and here we have two cos theta. What can be taken as common factor then? Two can be taken as common factor, right? So if I take out two common factor, there will be one plus cos theta. Let's write it later on. One plus one is two. Two plus two cos theta plus two cos theta sine theta plus two sine theta. Denominator, we are going to change this using this formula right here. We're going to change this into cos square theta. Change it into cos square theta plus cos square theta plus two cos theta. Okay, time for you to copy spaces right now. Next step, we, will go, we are going to take common factor between these two, common factor between these two. We will add these two together and then take common factor again. Uh, two, three more steps and then uh, we will be done. These two, what I can take out common factor? I can take out two common factor. Both of them has two, right? What about these two, look? There is two, two in both of them. Sine theta and sine theta in both of them. From these two, I can take out two common factor. From these two, I can take out two sine theta, two and sine theta is common factor. So what we are going to have in the numerator, take out two common factor from the first two, take out two and sine theta common factor from the second. So we will have one plus cos theta. The next one, I can take out two and sine theta. So two sine theta, what is remaining in the first term? In this term itself, what is remaining? I have taken out two and sine theta. That means cos theta must be remaining. And if I, if, since I have taken out two and sine theta from here, nothing is remaining except for one. Look at the denominator, cos square theta and cos square theta, this is how much? twice cos square theta plus two cos theta. Look, <clears throat> in these two terms right here, we have got only two terms. In these two terms right here, one plus cos theta and cos theta plus one, they're the same. Cos theta plus one, one plus cos theta, it's plus sign in between, so they are the same. So I can take this two out common factor again. So I can write one plus cos theta. What is remaining? There is two remaining here. Plus there is two sine theta remaining. Factorization of the numerator is complete. What about the denominator? Denominator two cos square theta, two cos theta. There are two and two in both of them. Cos square theta and cos theta. So uh, I can take out common factor cos theta, cos theta from both, two and two from both. What is remaining from the first one? Cos theta is remaining, right? Because there are two cos thetas in there. What can be canceled out? These and these are the same in the numerator and denominator. So I can cancel out this and this. And one more thing here, look. From the remaining term two and two plus two sine theta, you can take out two common factor again. So take out two common factor. What is remaining from this two plus two sine theta? If I take out two common factor, one is remaining in the first one, sine theta from the second one, denominator is two cos theta cancel out the two and two. What is remaining? Final answer. We have got one plus sine theta divided by cos theta. Okay, that's it. That's the right hand side that we wanted. So we will just say here is equal to right hand side and screw. Any question? Any question? Anyone have any question? This is just algebra. Okay, as I've said in the previous question also, this is just algebra. The only formulas that we have used from trigonometry are these two. These two formulas we have used from trigonometry. Others is just multiplication subtraction. Okay, then let's uh, finish here for today. We will take up uh, trigonometry. This one, we will take it up tomorrow. Trigonometric ratios of complementary angle. This is a very short chapter.
very short portion uh, this we will do 10.3 which i think we will complete in a day after that it's height and distance obviously the most important part of this trigonometry chapter uh, it will come after this word problems okay okay then let's finish here yeah.